Hey everybody, this is Clayton back with another three minute vinyl review. Today we have the second album by Newfound Glory, their self titled, equipped with roller skates, 45s, joysticks, condoms, ticket stubs, brownies, Death Star, Skywalker, people, um, Stormtroopers, there we go. God, that's embarrassing. Um, phones and porno stash. Wow, I can't tell you how embarrassed I am. I couldn't think of Stormtroopers, Troopers, and I am a Star Wars fan. There we go. Geffen Mondo MNFG 2000. Newfound Glory. She got a little banged up in shipping. Yet another USPS A+. But it happens. The B-side here is what we're listening to. All about her. Down here is a shot at the barcode. This was printed on Mondo for the 20th anniversary on white vinyl is the copy I have in particular. This came out September 26, 2000 on my favorite label, Drive Through Records. Flipping it over to the spine here, it says NFG and then it says all that same information that you just saw along with that guy there. There we go, it's very cool. Coming over here, we got more artwork like you saw on the cover. Some extra ones though, like um, that car down there at the bottom, that wasn't on there. The skateboard. Um, what is that? Petroleum jelly. And I think that's it. So pretty cool. Oh, and the bag of Cheetos, which you'll see here again here in a minute. So flipping it open here, you have all of your lyrics. I wish they would have done the same with the label maker print for the titles of the songs in that one, but still nice. And then more information about the album here. I feel like this would have made a great gatefold too. But nonetheless, still a great vinyl. Let's go take a look at it. <clears throat> there are your Cheetos again in all of their glory. See what I did there? So yes, it tells you all the track information on the A side, but none of it on the B side there. This is the white variant, limited to a thousand copies for the 20th anniversary. They did a red and a blue, limited to 500, a splatter to 500, I believe, and then a orange, limited to a thousand. So yeah, white was kind of the boring color, but I got a good deal on it, and white's actually the variant that I did want. I just something about white vinyl that I really love. But that's going to take care of it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out this album for sure. And as always, be sure to stay tuned for more 3-Minute Vinyl Reviews.